sunwheelmagic.com, thunderwizard.com. So today I want to start a video series comparing the Indo-European thunder gods Indra and Thor. So, these are probably the most well-known thunder gods in all of uh, the world. They're not only uh, parts of our historical and religious lore and culture, but uh, they're also featured in movies, in comic books, in video games. You know, so uh, just about everybody all over the world has heard of both of these gods. So, uh, they are both uh, part of the Indo-European family of religious polytheism. The uh, deity Indra comes from the Vedic and then the later Hindu religion, which still worship uh, Indra as the thunder god. And then in pre-Christian times in northwestern Europe, the Germanic tribes worshipped Thor. Uh, Thor is his uh, Scandinavian pronunciation. The actual uh, Proto-Germanic uh, pronunciation of his name was Thunar. The Germans pronounced it as Donar. The Anglo-Saxons pronounced it as Thunor. The, the actual pronunciation was Thunar. So, one question comes to mind. We know that the uh, Germanic tribes in northwestern Europe were um, Indo-Europeans. We also know that the Vedic tribes were also Indo-European. So the question is, is there a connection between Thor and Indra? Uh, I'm here to tell you definitively yes. If you have any questions about it, yes, not only are there connections, but they are in fact the same deity. Uh, Thor and Indra, even though they sound like completely different uh, words, are actually different pronunciations of the same root word for the thunder god. So let's analyze that. First let's look at the language behind the word Indra. Indra is made up of three words, in, du, ra. In means bright or shining, du means drop, and it specifically refers to drop of water. It also refers to drop of ambrosial nectar of immortality, or as the Vedics called it, the soma. It is also connected to uh, the moon. So uh, those are the first two words, indu. The last uh, word, ra, is in connection to the sun. Now, the, uh, the Egyptians used that very word to describe their sun god, Ra. Uh, the uh, Indo-European Germanic tribes had a rune which was Raido, and in that you have the first syllable, Ra, which is once again connected to the sun. Raido was the wheel of the sun as it went across the sky. Ra, in terms of the sun, in uh, this instance refers to royalty. It refers to the king, it refers to the ruler. So Indura means the ruler of the bright drop or ruler of the moon or ruler of the ambrosial nectar. So that's what his name means. Now Thor, that sounds completely different, but as we said before, Thor is, is actually a later pronunciation. The original pronunciation was Thunar. So we have two uh, words in that name. The first is Thu, which is the same as the uh, Sanskrit du, drop. They both mean the same thing. They mean drop. Now we still retain this word in English. We call it dew, the dew drop. And uh, I'll have to do another video on how that relates and what the actual uh, pre-Christian lore is about uh, the thunder god and the ambrosial nectar of the dewdrop coming up through the ground. I don't have time to do that now. So uh, his uh, second syllable is nar. So you have thu nar. Nar is an Indo-European suffix that was used uh, in Germanic languages that means uh, lord or ruler. So we have basically the same thing. Thu nar means ruler of the drop, ruler of ambrosial nectar, or ruler of the moon. Indura means uh, ruler of the bright moon. So we have the same thing. Uh, I'm going to have to go into more depth talking about the word Thu and uh, the connection between that. But for now that's enough. So that's uh, video one comparing Thor and Indra. Mm -hmm.